Hello and welcome to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. In previous demo, we have seen how to create app service, app service plan, key vault, app configs using Azure portal. In this demo, we are going to leverage Bicep language to create this resources. And this will help us to understand concept of infra as a code. Infrastructure as a code or IAC is the process of provisioning and managing infrastructure or resources defined through code instead of doing manually. So we can store them, we can implement version control and other things and we can reuse when it is required. We can create as many as environment required for similar type without any issue. So let's see that. So right now, this is view of resource group, which I have into Azure portal. So in Visual Studio code, I have already installed few of extensions such as Azure Developer CLI, Bicep and PowerShell. So right now, we are into Infra as a code folder. And I have opened this folder where there is no file. So first file I am going to create and first file I am going to create which will be our main file. So I am going to say that a hey, main dot bicep. Then I am going to start putting the parameters and variable name which is required for this demo. So this is few of the things which we are going to use that is parameter will be web app name, location, app service plan, what is the website name is going to be derived by this whatever name we will provide and then uh, application insight name, key alt name and config store name. This is the few variable and parameters which we are going to see. After that one, we are going to put some code for creation of app insight. So when we are trying to create app insight, this is the code where we are going to use the parameter called application insight and then location uh, which kind of application insight will be there and all the property. So this is how that app insight will be created. Now let's go and add code for second resources. So I'm going to add, this is the code for creation of key vault where this is that, hey, I'm going to resource name this one. And uh, this is the key vault name location and which kind of that one. So all these details will come here. So this is how, the syntax looks like for creation of key vault using bicep. Then the third resource I am going to create, which is application configuration, app configuration. So generally we use this one for storing our configuration. And we have seen in earlier video where we have used into key vault also, we have used app configuration in demo, we have used how to use app inside. So we have seen that one and these are the few resources generally we use when we develop any web app or API. Now I am going to put that app service plan, which is going to be that, hey, I want to have app service plan. This will be kind of windows. And what is the SQ? So SQ is going to come that, hey, I want to have F1 SQ. So all the details is going to come. Next, I'm going to create app service and app service is that Microsoft.web.sites where we are going to use website name, location and identity will be system assigned. And then we are going to use application insight, which is app insight, which we have created first. And then what is the property of application instrumentation or uh, that key similar for key vault. It is referencing that KB, which we created here KB and then what is the key vault URL and config store URL is going to come from config store and the endpoint. What is the endpoint? So this is how it is going to create and add the settings. Uh, this is basic by safe file, which we are going to use to creation of this resource. We can have complex operations also. We can have complex bicep file. We can also split this file into more, multiple files using models and other things. But basically I'm right now putting into one place. Now next put a parameter file. So let me put that parameter file with say that this is this parameter will be used into dev.json. So I'm going to provide this. Okay, let's create a file. 
and then I'm going to use this parameter that okay let's create this web app name called Softwidge IAC demo right? so infra is a code demo so that is SQ and other things we are going to use next I am going to create a PowerShell file so in deployment this is the command which we are going to do I want to run Azure login command AJ login and then I want to create this resource group and if we go and see that we do not have this resource group right now so this will be new resource group into south central US and then we are going to run group deployment command which is going to take this main.bicep file and parameter.jp file and it is going to run so let me save all this and if you also see that now we have in the uh, folder we have all this file and let's go and run this command as a ps command so it is asking for my login i can provide this login and then let's go back here and let's see that what happens so now it is running so it gives that one a specified name in use so let's see that Key vault name is already exists, so let me change that key vault name. And this is coming from web app, so I'm going to change that web app name itself. Let me put VS demo. So so now we can see right now AI and KV is coming in this demo rg let's see that other things and this is vs demo that we have seen now this next prompt came from powershell that means that it is succeeded let's go and refresh that and now we can see that couple of more is coming so let's wait for few more yeah this app service came now so now if we go into see that one this is app service plan this is all the details if we go into configuration section we give him that configuration saying that hey it should be in dot net right it should be into uh, system assigned in dot net and other things we given right so dot net 6.0 let's see what it says so so now if we see that one we have given config store that is this value and key vault url so if i go ahead and see that what is all three details are there this three details was coming from whatever other resources we have created into top and if we go inside this ai then i am able to see e6 which is here so it, it created first this app inside taken output and property and provided that one and if I go into config section I can see this is our endpoint and this is what I can see here and key vault similar thing let's go into check into key vault so that is also coming and uh, later let's see that one into general setting that uh, .NET stack is not coming so I need to see that one what was the issue .NET or 6.0 so this setting minimum TLS we have given so we have given the minimum TLS and other things 1.2 that is coming dot net 6 so the stack dot net 6 may be dotted version we have given but we have not given the stack dot net stack that is why it is not coming so I will update that template later but let me save this and let me browse this page so that we can see our app service is up or not so this is app service is right now up we can update more things here right now this app service does not have access as a we have this identity does not have access to key vault and other things we can add that states also in this by save file and that's how this infra as a code works we do not have to go every time into portal to create any resource for any environment either be it day production or anything so we can put this into code and this code can be checked in and this code can be reviewed by peers this code can be used to deployment from azure devops and that is what we are going to see into next video where we will check in this by save files into our repo and we will deploy using this uh, code i hope you will now understand how this infra as a code works thank you